I just always forget that they're good enough to make top eight. Yeah, right. They're, they're not a top three. Like, they don't make top threes, but they make top eight fairly consistently. And then I'm always like, oh, hey, look, look who made it. They did get 2 0'd by uh, Koslux and Doppy earlier. That sent them down into the loser's bracket. Then, once they were down there, uh, they fought Matt and Jester. Of course, Matt yeah. and Hazen had an amazing oh, yeah. uh, singles match. That is that person. And then uh, they 2 0'd Wubs and Zexus. Then they 2 0'd Wrench and Starlight. Actually, oh, yeah. that's pretty impressive. Yeah, that's, that's pretty nice. Uh, that was their qualifier to move on into top eight. That got them into this spot. But Issa drew today that, that one game that I happened to point it out. He had more damage than Cody. Mm -hmm. He had more kills than Cody. Mm -hmm. He survived longer than Cody. He took more damage than Cody. So maybe this is maybe this is the turnaround for Isidre. This might be, uh, is especially he, if is Cody Rayman? Travis okay, is. Right. Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> I was gonna say I don't think he'll play Rayman, but you know anything can happen, right? All right, Isidre, he's gonna be starting off with the brain. If things don't go his way, he's gonna switch over to the Ogrim. That's just been the game plan. Stop. Mm. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Don't do it. Stop. You know, like, it is a little bit meme -y, but I think Cody Travis and Isidru could get away with a double uh, Rayman because they both have axes. Uh, uh, so right. we talked a little bit about Cody Travis and Isidru. Noel and Ither. Noel, very strong 1v1 player. One of the most consistent 1v1 players through and through. Teamed up with Ithro relatively recently. Like, he was with Blood Diamond for a really yeah. long time. And then he's like, all right, I'm going go to go back to Ithro. Came back to Ithro. Yeah, came back to Ithro. There was like this kind of Ithro sandwich. Well, technically it's a Blood Diamond sandwich with Ithro bread. Either way, uh, now he's back with Ithro. And they've been looking all right. I, it, it's one of those teams where you, it's very easy to sleep on them because they don't make highlight reels very often. But they've been consistent. They've been able to take out some solid teams like Wrenched and Starlight. And we'll see what they can do against the likes of Cody Travis and Asidru. Uh, what are some standout things about them that you have to say about them? Uh, we have all beefy character levels here. Level okay. 90, Bren. Level 97, Baraza. Level 92, Bodvar. And a level 100, Koji. So there's no 50s in here. No. There's no 40s in here. No there's 20s there's, and under. There's no 12s. There's no like 19 like or 22 like we saw from, uh, uh, I think, Dobrain Zol earlier today. Like These are all people who are very dedicated to their mains. We've seen Noel kind of shop around just a little bit. He'll play the Asuri every now and then, yeah. uh, play maybe one or two other characters. But Isidru most likely almost always sticks with the Bren. He started to shop around just a little bit. The Olgrim throw out that uh, Axe Down thing like Candy a lot. But... Cody, very dedicated to Barraza. Uh, I throw very dedicated to Bodvar. So, yeah, that, that thing is, is very interesting that all four of these players are extremely dedicated to the characters that they play. Yeah, they, they stick with them. Ooh, Isidru almost caught the read, but I throw had just enough iframes able to spot dodge through that neutral oh! signature. But the side signature from Cody Travis connects. It's going to be the first stock taken by the blue team. And well, not too far behind. He is incredibly damaged. Ooh, just underneath that recovery. Double neutral light. Now, is this one of the first double axe teams we've seen in North America? Well, we did see this same team play earlier. Yes, but, but yes. other than oh, that. Other than that, yeah, they're they're kind of the only ones to really stick with axe in North America yeah. in doubles. And Cody Travis is like the only person in North America to, play to stick to axe in singles. Yeah. D-Light recovery yes. from Noel right in the middle of the stage. Awesome. I throw with a wonderful recovery. No weapon toss follow-up like we saw from multiple other Hammer players this weekend. And that's going to be one of the reasons why Asidru is able to make it back to the wall. Still holding on to that first stock. I throw down to his last one. With that bow nair. That was a lot of damage on Asidru for that low to the ground bow nair to finish him off. So not only did it take a lot of damage to kill Isidru, but... Uh, Cody Travis did get a three-hit axe string off of that. So he was able to, to extend that stock, and then Cody Travis was able to put big punishment off of it. And, oh, and Noel's, Noel's going to fall. fall. He tried to go under the stage, something that's regular to do on Thunderguard. He just had too much damage on his stock, got caught out during some of his jumps, and Isidru is just going to take eye throw out of the stadium. Yep. Just completely Escorted delete him. Escorted him straight out through the roof. And it's all left to Noel in the 1v2. One stock left against the four. Noel, very comfortable on this wall, though. He is going to be playing this wall all game. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that was real scary. Yeah, that's the bait, though, right? Is it? I don't know if that's the bait. He almost ate a down air, and he didn't really do very much off of it. 
Great follow up from Asidru. Expecting the recovery yeah. high from Noel. But I mean, Cody Travis was there to cover low as well. Yeah, so of course. I'm not saying it's perfectly bad. fine read. Nice down airs. That is the read. Is sometimes it's right and sometimes it's not. It's totally a guess. He is going to fall for that one. Committed very far, but Cody Travis going to clean that up. Gets the neutral signature. And Asidru and Cody Travis, very clean finish. Relegating Ithro to 209 Man, damage. It's not a lot of damage. They, I mean, they put the hurt onto Ithro. Cody took uh, like 345 damage. So let's just say, because um, he was pretty red on his second stock, mm -hmm. let's just say that stock was lost too as well. That is like 170 damage per stock. That's, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's, that's, pretty that's, nice. that's pretty good that he was I mean, taking per stock. One of the benefits of Verasa with that high defense is that he can he can extend those stocks for that long. And who knows, that second stock might not have been gone very quickly at all. Everyone's in defense stance except for Cody Travis taking out of defense. <laughs> Putting it into movement speed. Movement speed still very Yeah, high, Barraza has so that, low movement yeah. speed. It, it makes sense. That gives him opportunity to rotate over quicker. It gives him opportunity to go into the stage more quickly. Um, I, that's, yeah, that's totally fine. Movement speed can be really important, especially when you have not so much. We're looking for that ladder onto Ithro. You saw the nares and the recovery starting to come out, but Ithro able to dip to the side and just disengage from it. Down light side air, sends Noel off on the left side. The split blue team controlling the center. The red team trying to regroup for just a second, and but then they're immediately split up again. That recovery, picking up Noel. Nice. They're doing such a good job of splitting this red team. I throw, taken out again. Side air to punish Noel for hitting his teammate. It seems like every time Cody and Isidru make a mistake, even like the, a, a teeny tiny mistake, they immediately make up for it. Like, oh, there's some oh. team damage? Wow. That saved! That was brilliant! The side signature connected onto Isidru and the down air from Cody Travis redirecting it, sending it a little bit downward. The down air can spike, but since it's onto a teammate, it's got less force. I throw! Oh. Double kill. There's There were three characters' faces next to Cody Travis as he got a double knockout and then one onto his teammate. Cody Travis doing so well for himself, still on that first stock as I throws on his last one. Did he get the first kill too? Or did that count the team kill for dominating? We still don't know the answer to that. I, I don't know. Because obviously there were three faces up there. Yeah. But if he got a kill on the red team before that, because they do have three I stocks gone I don't think total. it counts teammates. I, don't, I wouldn't think dominating. it does either. Because because teammates are, are counted as accidents. Yeah. Ooh, wow. All right. Nice pick up the side signature to convert. And the Nair, not quite enough. He does shut down Cody Travis, though. That hit both members uh -oh. of the blue team, interrupted Isidru's side sig that would have hit Noel and possibly killed him because he wasn't kill percent at that point and might lead to the kill of Isidru as well. What a side sig coming out from Noel. But we do see Isidru converting into a kill. He got that ground pound on top of Noel. I like the ground pound attempt from Cody Travis, but Isidru's going to fall. There. Ooh. Little interrupt. Went for the down signature. A lot of active frames on that down signature. Side signature actually dips him past that neutral signature from Ithero. Isidru completely backing up from that D-Light. He probably could have kept going. I throws on his final stock. Cody is not even really orange on his second stock. But I, I can respect the safety yeah, decisions. Yeah, I, I absolutely you know? can. I, he didn't really have the time to look up to the top yeah. right of his screen and be like, oh, look, Cody's in his second stock, and he's orange, and he's Barraza with high defense. Like, you just don't have the time to do that. Moment to moment, the safe decisions perfectly fine. As I throw, can he get the double? Oh, the interrupt. Isidru's going to fall. I throw left to a 1v2. The side air will finish it off. Cody Travis and Isidru are going to close that one out. That's going to put them at 2-0 over Noel and I throw. And even though Isidru did a little bit less damage, putting out 441, not a bad damage number, he took 615 damage. That is a lot, a <laughs> lot of damage. Most damage taken in the entire game.